Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes of Thunder Chief building action. Oh, it's going to be a late one tonight. Okay, now what I got to do is I got to make my alignment holes. Okay, these don't have to be real deep, people. All of these are just little lugs to make sure these all go together. These will make perfect. These are like the females. When I put my resin on there, I'll make the perfect male. They just look like little counter sinks, you know, for screws. That's funny, that's all we need. Now you know what time it is. Time to wax it off. I guess we gotta wax it on first. But to wax it on, I'm just gonna go ahead and wax up this whole thing. Even though I'm, not re I'm only going to bring my resin and cloth out there about a half an inch into the piece. Got to make sure you get some wax in them, in them dots. Nice thin coats of wax, that's what you want there too. So am I making too many videos? I figured since that dry spurt there last week, I'd get something done and make y'all some videos. Thunder Chief in the air, man. I want one built sitting here. I'm gonna get that fuselage molded up next. Someone says, someone asked me if I'm gonna lay up some parts as I go, or am I gonna wait till I get all my mold pieces done? You know what I had to tell him. Shoot. <laughs> Y'all know me, I gotta, I gotta see some of the fruit of my labor. I wanted some parts sitting here. I felt like, you know what, I got this plug sitting here. You know, I, I, I don't, just don't feel like I have nothing. You know, I just work every day on that plug. And, and 
one. I got a part sitting here. That's that's the fruit of your labor. You know what I mean? And it's just a real gratifying feeling. So yeah, we're gonna have to make up some parts, I guess. Put another coat of wax on there. Wax it off one more time. One more time for the road. Don't you think there, Butch? I'd like to wax up this whole thing even though I'm not going to cover it all. That way if I do slop a little resin somewhere, it'll, it'll come right off. You just don't try and clean it off or nothing. Just let her set up and it won't stick to this wax. Time to squirt some mold release on there. And tomorrow we can take this bad boy apart and look at it. What do you think? Or should I just take it apart by myself and not show you guys? <laughs> just get right on to something else. Okay. Here's my mold release my mold release gun that's all I use this for see how a little bit of that very little is coming out very little like this and uh, you'll have a, a lot less trouble out of it I don't care what kind of wax you got and part all really well learning how to do the part all was uh, the toughest part of this molding stuff for me to get my part all to come out good is a lot of people it ain't no big deal. I mean, if you mess it up and get a bunch of fish eyes, you just take a sponge and wash it off. Start over. Uh, no big deal. But I'm going to do that two or three times. I'm going to let it dry in between the coats. And uh, she'll be ready to start putting some resin on. So thanks for tuning in. Tune in later for some more Bob TV. Same Bob time. Same Bob station.